Hey, Brian from Steak Bites here. It happens every four to six weeks, and we don't talk about it too often. This episode is all about shedding. You're watching Steak Bites. Why do snakes shed? It's actually a pretty simple answer. Unlike humans that as we grow, our skin expands along with us, snakes don't have that ability. They have an outer layer or an epidural layer of skin that only stretches so far. When it gets to the end of that stretch, it has to shed it off or molt it. This animal right here is at the end and the beginning of the shedding process. As you can see, it just shed its skin and it's about as vibrant as it's gonna get. Now after several weeks, the next step of the shedding phase starts. And that's when the snake has stretched its skin as far as it can and it needs to molt. A milky secretion actually forms under that epidural layer of skin and it actually is what we call going blue. As you can see, the snake's eyes has this milky blue film over it. During this period of time, the snake typically becomes more aggressive and typically will not feed. After a few days of going blue, the milky secretion actually absorbs into the outer layer of skin. Although the animal looks clear, it still has the outer layer of skin on it. And that secretion is gonna help lubricate the animal so that it's gonna be able to shed. At this point, the snake has the ability to actually molt their skin. They'll start by rubbing their nose and breaking the skin away. And then through muscle contraction, will actually climb right out of their skin. All right, guys, that's Cal's question week. Now, my question this week has to do with 3D and the huge craze about it. You get all these TV shows in 3D, and you get these movies in 3D. It seems like they don't even make anything in normal movies anymore. You gotta pay more for a ticket. Half the time, the movie looks like shit. And then you gotta sit there with glasses on for three hours. The noise is the living crap out of me. I wanna know from you guys. Text your video, comment below. Let me know what you think of the whole new 3D craze. Is it worth it? And now the process starts all over again. Some of the questions you might ask is how often do snakes shed, what are the reasons for them shedding, and do young snakes shed more often than older snakes? Well the answers are, snakes typically will shed anywhere from four to eight times a year. It's all about their growth, the amount of food you give them, and their activity. Again, once they reach that maximum size, they have to molt their skin. And young snakes grow much quicker than older snakes, so obviously they're going to shed twice or even three times more than an adult snake. Now a normal snake under optimum conditions is gonna shed its skin in one piece. But as you can see with this ball python, it's what we call stuck and shed. What that basically means is that the animal is ready to molt, but the skin is stuck on it. Now this normally is attributed to the fact that it either has scarring, so you can't get past the point, or in this case, it's actually a humidity issue. When the furnaces are going really high, it's actually sucking the humidity out of the air and making it really dry. And so what you have to do is actually get the humidity up for this animal to get the rest of its skin off. What can you do to avoid shedding problems like this little guy has? The first thing to do is to try to keep your humidity up. But again, it sometimes can be a challenge in the winter time, especially when you're from cold weather states like us, when that furnace is sucking the dry out of the air. Now, when the animal goes blue, it's good to actually spray the animal and keep the bedding nice and moist. That'll keep your humidity up and help it molt. Now, if it actually gets into a shedding problem like this one here, again, you can continue to spray the animal now sometimes we go to the next level and we'll actually take this animal and soak it in about an inch of warm water for about an hour. You wanna keep an eye on it. Obviously you don't want an animal to drown or anything like that. Typically they're fine about it. And after an hour of soaking, the skin will sloth off really easy. So if you get an animal that's stuck in shed and you get all its skin off, sometimes you have problems with what they call eye caps. And that's basically the layer of skin that's covering the eye. It's really important to get those off because if their eye caps on there for long enough, your snake can actually go blind. A great technique to get those things off is to buy one of these rubber thumbs that are used for counting money and just really gently try to just go from front to back and you can see that that snake's eye cap will just peel right off. Again, the snakes don't like it much and be really gentle, but it's really important to get those eye caps off. As long as you keep your snake happy and healthy and the humidity right, this is gonna be a natural thing that's gonna happen several times a year. And in the end, you're gonna have yourself a pretty cool souvenir. Hey guys, what's up? 
Just want to get everyone together, introduce you to your new co-worker, Toby. Hey, boys. Guys, I need one of you guys to help me. Whoa, 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 me. 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 Cal, can you help me out on this one? All right, Toby, so when you're watering these snakes, make sure you don't get the hose in the water bowl because it could spread the microbes. Oh, baby, you can put your hose in my water bowl whenever you want. Okay. It's totally micro-free. All right, moving along. Um, just, just all right, Toby, just just make sure that you, you, you get all this water. Just take your time and do it right. Okay. Oh, I want to always do it right. George, 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 um, could you uh, come over here and show her how to wind up this hose? My pleasure. Thank you. It's not just about cleaning up snake poop, you know. Yeah, I can tell. Poop can hide underneath the water, poop can hide underneath the snake, poop can hide underneath the bedding. There's more to spot cleaning than you think. Yeah, whatever. Whoa, whoa, Georgie, don't you know a fine woman like this has been dealing with pieces of shit all her life? <laughs> Come on, baby, let the chew master show you. She said no, shoes. Well, I didn't exactly say no. It's fine, Toby, I won't let him hurt you. Actually, you're both kind of hurting me. See, dummy, you hurt her. Me? Everything was fine till you barged it up here. You were lecturing on cleaning snake I was teaching her how to spot clean. I was gonna teach her how to spot clean my snake, if you know what I mean. <laughs> You're disrespectful to women! Disrespectful to women! She doesn't even like you! She likes me! Hey. I'm in. Yeah, everything's going just as planned. They're a mess. It's gonna be way easier than we thought. Yeah. When I'm done with them, BHB won't know what hit them. Alright. For this week's comment of the week on the snake massage episode, the question was, which age group is the most disrespectful? And the pace one said, Older people are more disrespectful. For example, an old lady on the bus stared at me and told me I make her sick and I'm the devil that will burn in hell because of my tattoos and stretched ears. However, young people also look but ask how it's done and are sorta of amazed by it. Yeah, I think old people are more disrespectful. Well, what I took out of all these comments was it definitely depended on what age you were to what you thought was the most disrespectful age. But I gotta tell you, those stretched ears do kind of freak me out. Until next time, you guys keep sending me creative comments. I'm gonna feature you on a future episode. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and learned a little bit about the shedding process and even what to do if you're having a problem with your snake shedding. You guys know I always shout out a community, but this time I'm going to do one of our communities. You guys got to check out snakebites.ning.com. It's a really cool place to hang out. Until next time, this has been Snake Bites.